Two other projects of this plan include a railway building with a length of 86 kilometers and construction of an expressway with a length of 92 kilometers. Passing a 28km path inside the island near Laft Port, these routes get closer to each other. Passing the cable bridge, the railway and road will enter the mainland and connect to national routes. In the other phase of the Persian Gulf Transportation Network plan, a cable bridge will be constructed so that transportation vehicles could pass and Laft and Paul ports could be connected. The Persian Gulf Bridge is categorized as a cable-stayed bridge and comprised of six H-towers. The height of pylons of this bridge is 153 meters from the seabed and will be constructed at the support location after placing the caissons. This bridge is designed with a 25-meter high angle of light obstruction so that big vessels could pass beneath it. Cables will brace five 360-meter spans and two 180-meter spans. The bridge has 31 and a half meters of width and consists of two lanes for entering and leaving the island and one emergency lane on both sides of the expressway. A railway route on the eastern section and a sidewalk on the western section of the bridge will be built. The simple but modern appearance of this cable bridge makes an attractive and exciting symbol. The railway and expressway will be connected to the Paul port after passing this bridge and is then connected to national routes. Completion of Persian Gulf transportation network improves economic opportunities of the country and reduces transportation costs.
It also plays an important role as the international north-south transport corridor, called Nostrak. Persian Gulf Regional Transportation Network.